We just made a travel function. It accepts one parameter, which is a closure that itself accepts one parameter and returns a string. That closure is then run between two calls to print. Func travel, action, closure accepts string, return string. Print, I'm getting ready to go. Let description equals action London. Print description, print I arrived, end function. And we can call travel using something like this. Travel, place string, return string in, return, I'm going to place in my car, end brace. However, Swift knows the parameter to that closure must be a string, so we can remove it. It also knows the closure must return a string, so we can remove that. As a closure only has one line of code, that must be the one that returns a value, so Swift lets us remove the return keyword too. Swift has a shorthand syntax that lets you go even further. We can let Swift provide automatic names for the closure's parameters. These are named with a dollar sign, then a number counting from zero. 